the day they told me I had it, definitely, was my birthday. And that was the day my life changed and I just thought, my life's over. I could have one year, could have six months, could have two years, could be lucky and have a bit more, but my life is over. What the hell am I going to do? How did I feel? Just like I am now. Absolutely. So, sorry, so upset that I, I couldn't talk. And uh, now, um, as I'm slowly experiencing now, I'm uh, getting used to it. But it's still extremely difficult, extremely difficult. At first, he stopped me doing everything. I had a long battle with myself and the hospital wanted me to stop working because of how far on I was. So I made a decision with my family to do it. And then I think because of the stress of doing it and realising I had to do it, but I mustn't have been ready for psychologically and mentally and physically because I loved what I did. I went right down and I went very, very poorly. And I really did think I was going to die. And I made a will and I sorted all my finances out. Really thought that that was me, I was gone. And you can't do anything, you can't move from, say, sitting here to go to the toilet next door without nearly passing out. And you can't fathom that out in your brain. How can you not do that when last week you could do it? So I used to fight it all the time, and then, but then you were passing out. And then you used to think, well, I'm going to die now. I know they give me some drugs, but I'm going to die. And that's all that's in your head. I'm going to die. I was very sad very disappointed in why me, why do I deserve this, why do I look okay, but inside I'm dying, basically dying, and I didn't know about it till I couldn't breathe properly, apart from that I was doing everything, I could have made it worse, I could have killed myself, you know, within a week, I was surprised how negative I became when I got it, because I was devastated. I used to always think how would people feel if they had cancer or they got told they had cancer. But I felt isolated and I felt deserted by the world because I had pH, because nobody knew what it was. And nobody looked at me like I was Paula inside um, because I didn't have cancer. Without a doubt, the, uh, the medicines that, uh, or the medication that she's on now is fantastic it's it's the best I've ever seen she's gone from uh, as I said before a Hickman line that has been taken out and now she's just on oral therapy and touch wood again she is not uh, seeing any adverse signs the fact that I'm still here to see things that are going on that makes me happy and the fact that I can breathe makes me happy but I'm not happy fully in myself because I have this shadow and the shadow's with you all the time that it could be tomorrow. I know none of us know when we're going to die. You know, it could be go out and step in front of a bus and you don't know. Everybody knows that. But it's like give, being given a life sentence because it's never going to go away. There's an edge of sadness now there that never used to be there. I'm still optimistic about things but I'm not optimistic about life because it's just when it's going to be. And I never used to think about that. I know as you get older, people do, but I think about it every day because I think, is today the day?